What's going on? Welcome back to the Full Bash channel. My name's Eric. It is a privilege to see your smiling faces right here in another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be installing an upgrade that is long overdue for me on my boat trailer, but I think it'll also be very helpful for a lot of you too. So definitely stay tuned and let's do this. That's not ideal. Towing a boat with a low car is definitely not ideal. It's not the tool that I chose to do the job with, it's just the tool that I happen to have at the time. But those chains are driving me absolutely crazy and it's not a good idea to have your chains dragging on the ground the whole time you tow your boat or your trailer or whatever you're towing. You don't want your safety chains just dragging on the ground because eventually they will wear away and there's big rust spots on the part that touches the ground on my trailer. Now this is what I normally do to fix the problem. I just wrap the chains around the ball mount and voila, they're not dragging. But as you can see, they're definitely rusted and eventually that's gonna be a very big safety issue. So I'm gonna upgrade those to safety cables. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, what's wrong with the chains? You can just cut them and shorten the length and that is definitely an acceptable solution to the problem that I have. But considering that these chains are beginning to rust, I do wanna to upgrade to something a little bit more stronger. So that's the reason why I decided to go with the cables. For me, the cables are a lot cleaner install and because they're coiled, they're going to suck up and contract when you get these hooked up. So they're not gonna be dragging on the ground, which is absolutely great. It solves the problem that I currently have. Another reason why I'm not cutting the chains is because you do want a length of safety line attached to your trailer in case the worst were to happen. Something happened where the trailer came disconnected from your vehicle. You do need a little bit of length. You want the trailer to get away from the vehicle just a little bit so it's not flying around and bashing into the back of your bumper. That could cause a lot of issues on top of the ones you already have if the worst were to happen. So it's a real easy install. Let's jump right into it. I'll show you guys that you could do it right there in your own driveway. Removing your coupler isn't 100% necessary, but it makes getting to the bolts that hold your safety chains a lot easier. All right, so something to note, when you're taking this apart, you wanna pay attention to your trailer wiring. I had a ground right here that was connected to this bolt. So you make, gotta make sure that you install this correctly when you put your safety cables back on. Something you guys wanna take notice of is the minimum braking force of the cables you're upgrading to. You wanna make sure they handle the trailer and your load appropriately. You don't wanna undersize, always oversize. Oh, 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 oh,
things dragging on the ground. <laughs> All right, I am so glad to get those off of the trailer. The cables are working out perfect. They don't come anywhere close to the ground. I don't have to wrap them up around the ball mount or anything like that. I love it when a plan comes together. It, absolutely great. I'm, I'm actually really, really genuinely happy with how that turned out. So just a couple things to note when you're doing this install. It should take you about 30 minutes if you're just taking your time, not rushing. It's definitely doable by anyone in their driveway, as you saw. <laughs> a few other things. If you go to disconnect your coupler, take a note and make sure that the nuts for the bolts that go that attach the coupler to the trailer have the nylon insert. That is gonna help prevent them from backing out if with all the vibration that's going on as you drive down the road. If they don't, you definitely wanna to go to the hardware store and upgrade to the nylon lock nuts. That's gonna be very, very important and also much safer. Something that I didn't show is that once I installed the cables, I had to bend them out and down a little bit because they weren't clearing the coupler. The coupler was not full, allowed to fully release and latch onto the ball, so I had to bend them out a little bit. It's not really a big deal. They're made to bend and for you to work them and get them into the position that you want. So that's just another thing that I want you guys to take note of as well. And other than that, that wraps up the install. It's definitely great. I highly recommend it if your chains are looking pretty crusty like mine or you're just looking for an overall upgrade. Like I said, it wasn't necessary in my case, but it just makes the ease of operation a lot easier in my case. And in my case, I could have shortened the chains, but I didn't really want to do that because eventually I will need the extra length. The Volkswagen isn't going to last forever. I do plan on upgrading it in about a year or two. So definitely good to have that extra stretch with the cables. But otherwise, if my situation were different, I might not have upgraded from the chains. I mean, chains, people have been using these for a long time and they work great. And they probably work great for you too, but this is just another option I wanted to show you guys in case you might be in a similar situation or you're just tired of the chains. So with that said, my name's Eric, you're watching the Flow Bash channel. I hope this video was helpful. Hope this video inspired you guys to get out there and do the work yourself. You don't have to pay someone to do it. You've got people like me to help you out. So I hope it was helpful. Till then, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you bring those smiling faces in the next video because I will be looking for them. Till then, make sure you guys get out there, find some inspiration, go catch some big fish.